Welcome into Sunday Sermon, where we uh, uh, take our scripture from the um, from Mr. Writings of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., and that would be the, well, this is the original, well, original cover, the original, original, well, the original 1984 edition of the book, the uh, United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. It's a textbook work for, for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. And um, this was the original cover, but, but the reaction original book is a little bit bigger, uh, a bigger format. In fact, we have it down at uh, down in DeBaza. So this Sunday, I'll be reading from this, uh, St. Louis now, but I'll be reading from, from the original, uh, this one right here. And uh, I already picked out, and now what, what we're doing in DeBaza, let me go back. Uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. is, is uh, featured on, uh, on the internet, every uh, Tuesday from uh, 9 to 11 Eastern Standard Time for doing a program. And on that program, he doesn't discuss the ninth area of activity for the uh, United Independent Contens Compensatory Code System concept. And that um, area would be a uh, war, counter-war. That's the ninth area of activity. And now there are uh, nine areas of activity. Uh, in fact, let me just show them right here. Uh, area one is uh, economics. I need to. Well, I'm not going to go through the whole. Oh, maybe I should. No, not now. Another time. Uh, second area is the area, area of uh, education. Uh, um, then the third area is entertainment. Fourth area is uh, labor. The fifth is law. Uh, the sixth is politics. Um, the, um, the politics has a, has a lot under it, by the way, as you may or may not know. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, politics. And then you have um, uh, Area 7, which is uh, religion. And then you have sex and war counter war. Like I said, on Tuesdays, Mr. Neil Fulia, over the air airwaves, over the you know, transmission that he does uh, via the uh, Pittsburgh concept um, cast, uh, he doesn't discuss war counter war. Now, in Dimbaza, when we do our thing in Dimbaza, we don't we don't go over the chapter in sex. Uh, there's a number of reasons for that, and I go to it when I get to Dimbaza. I'll explain that uh, more. But um, but since I'm not in Dimbaza and we're not well, whatever it is, um, I am going to discuss the area of sex. Uh, for well, here, this is uh, uh, December, December and January. I'll be uh, traveling about. Um, I don't even know. I might have to record, pre-record at least one for a Sunday sermon. But uh, when I get back to uh, when I get back to South Africa, uh, so I'll deal with that when I in, in basically when I get back to Nabaza. Might not be to February to get back to Nabaza. I have to work something out. We'll see what happens. So we are going to deal with areas of sex now. And in these Sunday sermons, what I do is I read uh, usually the, the bold. It's bold there, and then he has an explanation there. And sometimes I talk about what's happening, and sometimes I don't, because it's a Sunday sermon, and I'm your sermoner, sermonizer. <laughs> okay, so this is area six, and again, in the uh, in the original, um, reproduced original um, book on page 200, we go to page 200, it says six. As long as white supremacy racism exists, do not criticize or complain about anything that any person does in sexual matters. If you, yourself, are engaged in uh, any act of sexual or so-called homosexual intercourse with any white person. Ooh, this is interesting. So, so do not criticize or complain about anything that any person does in sexual matters. If you, yourself, are engaged in any sexual act, or so-called homosexual act in the course, uh, intercourse with any white person. So when this is uh, published in 84, he has a revised edition. So, um, well, let me just read his explanation. Uh, a reason, explanations. Sexual intercourse, sexual play, and or so-called homosexual, anti-sexual intercourse between any white person and any non-white person under conditions dominated by white supremacy racism has a worse effect on the promotion of justice than any other forms of people activity. 
Okay, so he's honing, honing on, on the homosexuality in this particular one. And he's also saying that sex has a big, has a huge effect on on the on the nine areas of activity, but just on the human human condition. As long as white supremacy exists, any such activity between white persons and non-white persons is worse than acts of sexual intercourse between a person and a sheep, between father and daughter, between mother and son, between sister and brother. So he's saying here, of course, that's what he says, homosexuality is worse than bestiality, worse than, uh, what's that when, you, when, you, when you're born in your siblings? Whatever that is, I forgot what that was. Um, and then it goes on. Because sexual activity has, oh, incest, that's what it's called. Because sexual activity has such a strong influence on the way that people think and act in all other areas of activity, any sexual activity and or any attempted sexual activity, as aforementioned, between white persons and non-white persons under conditions dominated by racism has the effect of doing more to help maintain racism than any other acts combined. Hmm. Such activities um, is such activity is also the most powerful means of maintaining and refining injustice of all kinds among the people of the known universe. Okay. All right. So it's a powerful means of maintaining and refining injustice. Uh, um, 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 boinking people of the same sex. Therefore, if a person does not express disapproval of sexual intercourse, of sexual play, and or of so-called homosexual intercourse between white persons and non-white persons under conditions dominated by white supremacy, that person is not justified in expressing disapproval of anything that anybody does that directly or indirectly pertains to sex. Okay, so therefore a person if a person does not express disapproval of sexual intercourse, of sexual play, and then a so-called homosexual intercourse. Okay, so if that if, if you don't disapprove of homosexuality, this was the same, remember this is the 84 edition, right? That person is not justified in expressing disapproval of anything that anybody does that directly or indirectly pertains to sex. Okay, so uh, I guess I'm not putting words in his mouth. Well, yeah, I'm putting words in his mouth. If, uh, if, if, I guess he's talking this, uh, uh, the Disapproval Act. Um, uh, this, I don't want to use any colorful words. I don't want to say any words like that. Let me just say, uh, that means you, 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 well, they disapprove of it. I have another take on this. Uh, my take is this. We are in a war. Right? We're in a war. And in a war, there's all kinds of troops. There's all kinds of, uh, uh, I say, uh, yeah, all kinds of tactics, right? And so for me, especially since the homosexual uh, groupings and, 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 and the like are growing in such numbers, then as a, as a person who... Uh, who uh, let me put this as a child of a goon, a goon, the warrior. Um, he, he, he's the planner. He's the architect, right? Uh, then I would say that they had uh, any sexual act, any 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 stripe, I'll be there. It could be even white people who are not white supremacists, even white supremacists. For that, I care. Um, you have to put them in a situation, or they have to be in a situation where they advance your cause. So I can have special troops of homosexuals of whatever, transsexuals, of the uh, well, bestiality people, right? They do their thing. As long as they, as long as they, they are fighting against uh, injustice and I can employ them, or I can uh, uh, employ them, I, I can uh, depose them, I, 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 can, and I can send them on or in, in the field of battle to do battle against injustice, against white supremacy, then fine. You can boink who you want, as long as you. In fact, if you want to uh, uh, be a spy, you know, and and and, and hang out with, with those folks, then go ahead, knock yourself out. As long as you bring back the information that's going to help, the, how do it free us? That's going to help us be freed from this situation. That's going to uh, produce justice, not the act of produce justice, but but create a situation where 
justice is produced. In other words, it, it gets rid of the system of, of, of racism, the system of racism, non, uh, racism, um, white supremacy. If you can get rid of that system, however you get rid of it, whatever tactics you employ, whatever special troops <laughs> you, you incorporate, well, there you go. That's I'm, I'm saying I, I don't have any problem with it. I, I don't say anything for it or against it. But because my for or against is, are you doing stuff that's getting rid, that's replacing the system of injustice with a system of justice? That's that's my bottom line. That's uh, that's that's my preaching this morning. This is Neely Fuller Jr. in the eighty four edition has said something else. So you see this. Like I said, this is our scripture. This is our scripture that we, uh, this book and it's and it's many illiter no, it's only two alliterations. The the, the two thousand sixteen edition and this is the original nineteen eighty four edition. Uh, we 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 publish uh, like that. Then, well, that's what it is. So says I, me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>